Pat and you are always seeking to improve our products and to understand design features of competitive brands. Columbia Parkar is a major player, so we decided to bring in their 24 volt stock chaser to have a look. While we found some design features that we feel are worthy of our consideration, we also found some differences we feel prospective customers should be aware of. First, let's talk about productivity. Our Pat Mule's deck is both wider and longer than the Columbia's. Pat Mule's 20% larger deck area substantially increases productivity. In addition to that, Pat Mule's increased productivity can also be found in its 1,200 pound deck capacity compared to Columbia's, which is only 1,000 pound capacity. Further evidence of Pat Mule's superior productivity can be found in its towing capacity. Our standard Pat Mule has a 2,000 pound towing capacity to Columbia's, which is only 1,000 pounds. Pack Mule offers twice the towing power, enabling it to move twice the payload per trip, significantly increasing productivity and your return on investment. Pack Mule's powerful 245 amper hour batteries are standard equipment and provide for superior runtime. The Columbia comes equipped with 232 amper hour batteries. Pack Mule offers 36 volt as well as 24 and 48 volt stock chasers whereas Columbia does not offer a 36 volt stock chaser. Our 36 volt pack mule stock chaser is our most popular model because it substantially increases runtime at a very reasonable cost. Let's talk about durability. Pack mule features a rugged, genuine diamond plate exterior compared to Columbia's plain steel exterior. Taking a closer look at the Columbia Stock Chaser, we find a plastic instrument panel compared to Pack Mule's rugged, solid steel design for maximum durability. Now let's take a look at maneuverability. Pack Mule has a shorter wheelbase, 40 inches compared to Columbia's 44 inch wheelbase, contributing to Pack Mule's superior maneuverability. Pack Mule's superior precision track rack and pinion steering system compared to Columbia's system of push rods and levers, further contributes to Pack Mule's superior maneuverability. Now let's turn to safety. The Columbia IS-12 Stock Chaser mechanical braking system is totally dependent on two springs for vehicle braking. The operator is not able to increase braking force on a ramp or in an emergency situation. The operator of the Pack Mule, on the other hand, is capable of increasing the braking force for maximum safe braking and vehicle control. Safety and productivity both require superior ergonomics to avoid operator fatigue. The Columbia Stock Chaser has an accelerator pedal that has a 30 degree pedal at rest position compared to Pack Mule's 14 degree pedal position. This unusually high pedal position increases operator complaints and fatigue the Columbia Stock Chaser also requires more than three times the effort to depress the accelerator pedal, increasing operator fatigue and reducing productivity. Our engineers measured 40 pounds to depress the pedal on the Columbia, compared to only 12 pounds for the Pack Mule Stock Chaser. The Pack Mule Stock Chaser also has a much larger operator's area larger foot area and comes standard with an ergonomic mat to reduce fatigue. The front of the foot area is also enclosed for maximum operator safety. The cumulative effect of all these superior ergonomic features result in increased productivity. In today's demanding world, it's critical to avoid downtime. And here again, Pack Mule stands out with superior diagnostic tools and its design for ease of maintenance. Pack Mule offers a digital information display that includes service interval alert, hour meter, fault code number display, and LED and LCD battery meters versus Columbia's analog gauge and LCD hour meter. Finally, when you compare the warranty offered by Columbia Parkar with that offered by Pack Mule, the difference in quality of the underlying product becomes quite clear. Whereas Pack Mule offers at no extra charge its amazing industry-leading three-year warranty, Columbia provides 
only a one-year warranty, although it offers to extend this for an extra charge. The extra charges are to extend from one to two years or 1,000 hours, whichever occurs first, $298. To extend from one to three years or 1,500 hours, whichever occurs first, $620. To extend from one to four years or 2,000 hours, whichever occurs first, $880. These hour limits are puzzling because a year of full-time use results in over 2,000 hours. So many customers can anticipate exceeding the 2,000 hour limit on the four-year warranty before the end of the first year. The most important takeaway from this is the difference in the level of confidence that PacMule has in its products. We hope this discussion has been useful. However, there's no substitute for trying a PacMule, and we offer rentals, demos, and other programs to allow you to try before you buy. Once you have tried a PacMule, you too will understand why PacMule users say they take a licking and just keep on kicking. <laughs>